So now let's see how we can work around with text formatting inside of titles in Filmora. So for that, I'm going to go to titles right here. And uh, this time I'm just going to go around and bring in a plain text. So I'm just going to go around and click and drag this up over here in timeline. And there you go. And I just want this in the beginning. So I'm just going to go around and keep it in the beginning of the video right here so that I just have the text. So I can go over here and then what I can do is I can type in tutor tube right here and there you go. You can go around and scale this right here. As you can see, you can rotate this around just like that. Or you can use these handles to rotate it around or resize it out as well. Just like that. You can go around, change the position by clicking and dragging these handles right here. Or you can click and drag this right here as well. Or you can enter out the position as well. So you can go around and let's say, for example, type in 0, 0 value right there. And you can see that it goes back onto position right there. So now what I'm going to do is over here, you can see that all of the text is actually displayed right here. And here you have all the formatting options. You can go ahead and choose the uh, now choose the font of your choice. Let's say, for example, you can want to go for this one. You can see that it is more rounded right here. Blue is the name of the font. You can go ahead and change the size of the font right from here as well. And you can change it out into, let's say, like a rotation mode right here as well. You can bold this out right here. So there's a subtle bold in this one. You can italicize this out as well. If I were to pull out the text box right here, then we can arrange out the left alignment, center alignment, and uh, like right al alignment, as you can see right here, right alignment, center alignment, left alignment. Another thing that I can do is let's say I have something like a paragraph. So I'm just going to go around and say tutor tube is, I'm just going to go around type in tutor tube is a tutorial based uh, channel where you can uh, learn, uh, can learn about general computing uh, and multimedia concepts. So I'm just going to type this in and now you can see that it is a part of the uh, same text right here. But what I can do is I can go around and press enter and you can see that it actually changes into something like a paragraph. So over here, once I do that, you can see that I can left align this, it uh, aligns it like this, I can right align this or I can center align this. But if I were to click on this one, align justified, then you can see that it spreads out everything right here. I can go around and left align right here or I can justify it all together as you can see. So I can go around and arrange this out. So if I were to do this, you can see that the justifying is not very balanced. So I'm just going to divide it, let's say, for example, from right here. And even if the length of top and bottom text is different, you can see that it adds in spaces. The software adds in spaces to make it look balanced. So if you want design consistency, then this is something that you can utilize right here. So another thing that you can do is you can change out the text color as well. And to do that, simply go over here on the under settings and then go around and choose the text color you want. You can go around into more. And then from here, you can choose text color uh, um, um, at the matter of your will. So you can go ahead, choose the text color or even enter the hue saturation um, value right here or red, green, blue or enter the uh, hexadecimal value if you know what that is. So I'm just going to press OK and there you go. You can work around then with the text spacing as you can see. So you can change around the space between the text. You can really make it uh, like let's say spacious or you can make it clunk together right here. So you can click and drag and that changes the value as you can see or you can type in the value and press enter. Then there's line spacing right here. That's the space in between lines. So you can really have it clunk together or expand that out right there. And then another option that you can work with is alignment. So if you were to click here, then the text goes right on the center. But if I were to go over here, then the text is thrown on, thrown on to the top right. But you can go around and change the position right here. So you can change the X and Y position right here. And you can see that it comes from the top left right there. I can go around, throw it on the top right as well. On the bottom right, you can change around the Y axis right here to get it back from the bottom right, as you can see. So you can go around and then center align it and so forth right here by pressing 0, 0 right here and by clicking on this one. You can go down and you have the transform options like rotate right here. You have the scale and position, the same control that you see over here 
over here as well. So you can just scroll down and others are blending options. And this is something that we are going to cover up in later lessons, blending and opacity. And those are the text formatting options that you have in Filmora. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.